How do you bid cleaning jobs for apartment complexes? That's a great question and we're going to talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by SavvyPerks.com. This is a hub that has all different kinds of things that will save you money as a business owner. So if you are only a business of one, you can save a whole bunch of money on everything you buy. And I say everything. We have partnered with America's largest employee discount network. So if you are an employee and you're not an employee, you're a business owner, but this program was created for big companies like the banks and the hospitals and the airlines where they have thousands of employees. Savvy Cleaner became the employee to offer everyone in our network this discount. So if you're watching this right now, you're in our network and you can participate in this. It's a membership that you buy. It's a few dollars a month, but it gives you access to 250,000 places whether it's kids tuition for your kids going to school, whether it's shoes, whether it's pet meds, whether it's uniforms, whether it's printing supplies for your business, it might be your cell phone service, it might be your internet service. You can save a lot of money on a lot of things. 250,000 companies that have come together to offer us discounts. So check it out at SavvyPerks.com. All right, on to today's show. This is a very interesting question. How do you bid cleaning jobs to apartment complexes? Here's what one professional house cleaner called into the show and asked. Hi, this is Vanessa. I have a question. How would you bid on an apartment complex that wants your service? Alrighty, so this is a trick question because what does the apartment look like? I'm not trying to throw you on a loop, but what I want you to be aware of is that there are different types of apartments. There are different types of jobs. If you're going into an apartment building that has lots of hallways and lots of stairways and elevators and public restrooms, that is what you're going to be bidding for. It is very unusual that the apartment would also provide interior cleaning for the tenants. Now, what it might include is move in, move out cleans when the tenants leave so that the, the room is flipped for the next person that's moving in. It might include those. But my first request would be whomever you're talking to, whether it's the property manager or if it's the complex manager, or there may be somebody that's just in charge of hiring the outside help. Find out who that person is and find out who you would be reporting back to. And then ask them right now, tell me about your experience. What has, what has been happening in the past? Because what has been happening in the past is not working. Otherwise, they would not be calling you, okay? If it was working in the past, they would stay with what was working. But they're calling you because something was not working. So what did the job involve before? And then you have to figure out, is it too much for one person to do? Do you have a team? Are you going to be cleaning every day? Are you going to be cleaning once a week? Are you going to be cleaning once a month? Or are you only coming in to do those tenant turns when people move out? So you need to find out what it looks like. How much did it pay? And before you give them a price of any kind, find out what they paid. Maybe the person that left, left because the pay wasn't high enough for the job that was requested. And so you have to figure out how much is this project going to pay? How long is it going to take to do it? How many cleaning supplies? How many people? There are a lot of variables that we don't know. And you need to know that going in before you place your bid. Now, if you're not familiar with how to price something like this, I might recommend you to a product like Clean Guru. It's a cleaning estimator software that walks you through every different variable of something like this. And it's great for commercial and residential work. Now, this falls under the category of commercial work, even though we said apartments and people live in apartments, because this is a huge building with a lot of extra stuff. And you want to make sure, am I cleaning the interior only or am, am I expected to clean like the stairwells going up and down on the outsides of the property? Am I expected to clean the entryways that are, have, just have a cement floor? Am I expected to get the cobwebs out of those exterior hallways? What, tell me about the parking lot. Who does the parking lot? Does that fall under my job or is that classified as landscaping? And so there are a bunch of variables that you have to figure out before you even accept the job. And then once you accept the job, you will have the variables that you can change in order to give a fair price. Now, unlike residential house cleaning, where you go in and the parameters are pretty much the same, and I say pretty much the same, everyone has a kitchen, everyone has a bathroom, they have a dining room, a laundry room, whatever. In an apartment complex, it's a little bit different because the variables can be different. Is it flat floor? Are you taken up and down by an elevator? Are they stairs? Is it three or four stories? Is it a hundred stories, right? Every apartment complex is a little bit different depending on the city, depending on where you are. So figure out what the parameters of the job are. And then once you have determined that, this is going to be where you send a bill, not that you just quote a price right there off the top of your head and then you start today. You're going to end up sending an invoice and there will be terms. 
Unlike residential cleaning, there will be terms they will pay on 30, 60, or 90 days. And so you have to determine how long can I go after I clean without getting my money back. And so these are variables that I want you to be aware of. If you're asking the question how to bid, it's probably not the right job for you. There are smaller jobs that pay immediately, and I recommend that you fill your calendar completely full of those. And then after your business has grown and your business is completely full and you've started expanding and you have regular money just coming in on a regular basis, then I would take on bigger projects like apartment complexes where you're going to be able to outsource that to additional cleaners that you hire as you expand your business. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I'm not trying to be vague. I'm trying to say that there are so many variables. I can't come in and say, just quote this price per square foot, because what does that mean? And then also, while you're quoting the price for the apartment complex, what are the rules and regulations for soliciting? And I would find that out as part of your contract up front. Because if people see you coming and going with vacuums and mops, they're going to probably ask if you can clean their individual units. And are you allowed to sell your services to the individual tenants that live there? And the reason I say that is because a lot of apartment complex have rules against that. You can clean the outside, but you do not get to clean the inside of the tenant's places. And so if you ask even to lay flyers, sometimes they'll say, yes, you can leave them with us. We will pass them out. Then you go back again to do your next cleaning and they've thrown all of your flyers away. <laughs> it happens all the time. It's super sad, but the rules are different for every apartment complex. And so you have to find out what are the rules so that you're not stepping on any toes and so that you don't jeopardize the job, the commercial job, which is the outside and the building itself. All right, I hope that helps a little bit. If it does, please pass this on to a friend. I'm going to leave links in the show notes also to Clean Guru, who's my friend Dan Liebrecht, who was on our show a couple of weeks ago. And we talked about how to create cleaning proposals, and he's a master at this, and his software is spectacular. So I'm going to leave links in the show notes to that as well. Check it out. All right, I hope it helps you. If it does, please pass it on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.